bros. Oh my god, I feel like I have to control myself when I make these videos. Because... If you guys see the stuff that I see personally, right? If you see or you experience these things, but there's things behind the scenes that like I read and see that just disgust me, okay? Am I going to blame the FIFA community? I don't know. What I, you know what the title of this video is going to be? The title of this video is going to be the FIFA community is a joke to the gaming industry. Okay? I'm going to explain to you why. I'm really trying not to get angry because I'm so sick and tired of explaining why this situation that we're in as Ultimate Team players is so terrible. I am so sick and, and tired of explaining it because the illogical things that I am seeing... As a game mode, as a gamer, is it blows my mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys why, okay? I've been playing Call of Duty, right? I've been playing Call of Duty, and the meta right now, it sucks. It's camp oriented, but there's a way to work around that camp oriented meta and still have fun, okay? There's a way, but even still, they're gonna do something about it. I've already read up on it, okay? But it's not just that, okay? You obviously, listen, no one is comparing a shooter to a sports game. You know what I am comparing, though? I am comparing a video game to a video game. That's the comparison that I make when I play these types of games, okay? I've been playing Call of Duty. Lots of weapons in the game. Each weapons have levels, large levels. They go all the way to, like, I think level 99 or 75, something crazy, right? Each weapon has levels. Then you have a leveling up system yourself for your character. Then you have prestiges. You have unlocks for attachments, unlocks for camels, hundreds of camels in the game, right? It's a fun gaming experience. Not necessarily the camping. That meta is going to be adjusted, apparently, right? But the general game experience from playing the game to going back to the menus and unlocking your challenges from playing the game is well balanced as a video game, right? Okay. Do you know, oh, I, I could feel myself really close to passing that line. Do you know how big of a joke our community is in FIFA? Do you know how big of a joke we are, man? Gameplay is broken. Has been for years. Never fix inconsistent gameplay. The core part of your game is already done. Okay? I only buy this game because I'm a content creator. People don't understand. Listen, guys. Let me, I'm going to tell you this right now. Okay? I can make more money doing this than working construction. And in Toronto, life is expensive. Right? So if I can do that while staying at home, so be it. If I got to do this through ranting, then so be it. Okay? Because... It's kind of hard to get jobs nowadays where you're making like over ten thousand dollars. I'm not making, I'm not making ten thousand dollars in this. Not even fucking close. But I'm making more than than a construction worker right now, which is great for me because this the weather in this country is fucked and shit's expensive in this city. Okay, I do this as a content creator. Okay, listen to what I'm going to tell you guys this right now. Okay, the gameplay is broken. Your gameplay content is a fucking catastrophe, okay? You have a ranked game mode in Division Rivals, right? That gets you worse, it gives you worse rewards than what you used to get back in the day playing Divisions with a more open match, open matchmaking, right? And a Division Rivals system is that if you are anywhere near 1700 plus, even if you're good at the game, it's not enjoyable to always play against the top tier players. Okay? It's not. All right? Okay. That's, that's, that's one thing. Right? Foot champs. No one has that concept of a game mode because it makes zero fucking sense to have a quantity amount of games. Right? For, for your best gameplay rewards. 
oh my god i'm already getting super angry just thinking about this and then drafts drafts is literally the saving grace in, of your game but guess what the reward system the reward give out is still fucking garbage because you pay 15k but you don't consistently make that money back and more when you bet on yourself to win the entire game mode like do you guys ever think about this i want to i want to tell you one thing and i want you to think about this really fucking hard okay do you know how ridiculous it is that we have a game mode that you have to pay actual money to play sure you could put the coins in it but gaming wise you don't make your money back all the time do you know how ridiculous that is that we have a game mode that you gotta put fifa points into to play is does no one else talk about this how fucking idiotic that is Okay, so that's the gameplay content. And then the gameplay shit. Your challenges. Do you know what you can do with Ultimate Team? You could do way more on Ultimate Team than you can on any other game. Because of the thousands of players you have in your database. Because of the hundreds of different tactical formation changes you can make. Right? Right? Yet again, you make challenges that make no sense for your current gameplay content. I really hope you guys in the comment section see where I'm coming from because I, I, I know I comfort a lot of you guys from the stuff that I say, right? And I know that you guys are football lovers and I know it's a big reason why you guys play this game. But I'm being so serious with you right now. We are a fucking joke to the video game industry in general, dude. We're a fucking joke, my dude. The game has a huge pay to win concept and has two competitive game modes that make no sense. Is it, is it, listen, is it too hard to ask for this? Divisions matchmaking, division 10 to division six, division four to division one as one of your game modes, right? As one of your game modes. And then foot drafts, you wanna keep it as is, as much as that literally triggers my insides, sure, keep it as it is. To collect first owner players, cause listen, this is the balance I think of. You play online divisions, and then, oh, you need to do, you need to get first owner players to do the objectives, okay, at least your matchmaking is division four to one, and divisions 10 to six, right? Okay, go play drafts, go try to collect your first, first owner players, play them in divisions, and then once you're done with them, sell them, and then move on from there, right? So keep drafts as it is if you want to, right? And then tournament mode, right? Tournament mode that you can, you know, do new tournaments, you know, give us different colored cards that don't even get stat increases, just give us a, 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 literal, a literal colored card so that we can, you know, add them to our players if they score... Uh, if they score this many goals in this tournament or we win this many games in this or or or, or whatever it is, right? Like gameplay content wise, those three already well balanced, right? And then you have challenges like Call of Duty does, right? You know, score a certain amount of goals with players, get clean sheets, play with this formation and win this many games with it, play with this formation and get this many clean sheets with it. Oh my God, I, I can't. Oh my god, okay. The way I just explained the game to you, right? And then, and then, you have Division Rivals as a game mode in your game with the same skilled rating matchmaking that you have, but you don't get rewards for it, right? You play the game mode to get better at the game. You go into higher skill ratings, Maybe, hey, maybe to get a kit, because now if we have kits, you can choose whatever kit you want, 
right? You can choose whatever kit you want. If, I, if I'm if i a top 500 player in division rivals or something, okay, we'll give them a kit. Oh, um, you know, if you play division, I don't want, I don't want no, no, I don't, I don't need rewards from division rivals. I want, I want cosmetics that make me look cooler because I'm a higher tiered skilled rating in division rivals. You have that mode that only gives you cosmetics, right? And it would just be fun because you have a mode that, oh, I want to practice against better players so I can become a better player, even though even though that concept right now doesn't really exist because the meta is fucking terrible. But, right, you have division rivals with your skilled rating matchmaking, and then you play it to get better at the game, right? So you have division rivals, you have divisions, right? You got online drafts, and then you got your tournament mode. Can you guys tell me, like, am I am I going crazy? Is that, doesn't that sound better to you with challenges, a bunch of fucking challenges on the side? Does that, does that not sound more appealing as a video game? Doesn't that sound more fun? Right? And then, like, you have challenges, right? Where it's like, okay, well, as you're playing divisions, maybe you win division one and you get, like, your 10k coins or your 15k coins, whatever it is that they would choose to give you, right? As you consistently play every single day, whatever it is, again, like I said, that they choose to give you. Um, you would be collecting untradeable gold cards, maybe once every game, a shitty one, you know, give me a shitty non-rare gold, uh, or a good one or whatever it is. And then every, every time I played it, I'm getting these rewards, untradeable packs or trail, pa not, it doesn't have to be tradable, untradeable packs, but I make sure I get coin rewards because I'm trying to progress my team by playing the actual fucking game. Right. And then from all of that. From all of that, you have a better balance in your game, right? You 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 work to strive to have a meta team so you can go play Division Rivals so you can get better cosmetic rewards. And, you know, we play Division Rivals to be competitive or you can use it in Divisions. Who gives a shit, right? So much shit is just going through my head because none of this is going to happen. Because literally I talked about this last year and none of it happened. I have zero faith. Zero faith of this company. Please. Please, I'm, I'm literally begging to God. I'm begging to God, bro. I'm begging to God. Please, another company take over. Konami, your, your game... Your, uh, listen, guys, I'm sorry if you're Pez fans, but I tried Pez 20. I fucking hated that game. But listen, okay? Please, for the love of God, can we get a competent company like Epic or something to make a new football game? Because what we are experiencing in the EA Sports FIFA community is a catastrophe every year, okay? Because there is so much potential that can be done with Ultimate Team from a gaming experience, a menu experience, and a content experience, okay? That it, it for me as a gamer, and for me as a content creator playing this game and hoping for a better future from three or four years ago, right? It's driving me fucking crazy, okay? It's driving me crazy. I'm really trying not to yell and get really angry because i'm so sick and tired of this company producing garbage a recycled piece of shit every year right and thinking it's cool because they're making their money okay this game is an is entirely a cash grab okay it's an entirely is a cash grab okay never in my life would i spend on a few points in this game never Never. If the game was good, maybe for fun, yeah, it would make more sense to do it, right? No. No, 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 no. No. No, no, no. No. What I'm seeing on my screen every time I hop on FIFA, guys, look at the game in my eyes, okay? And it's for your eyes, too. Look at, look at into my eyes and see it from this side through my fucking eyes, okay? When I open FIFA, right... I haven't played Division Rivals in like four or five weeks, okay? Haven't touched it, right? I've been at 1770 skill rating since the beginning of the game coming out. See it from my eyes. What am I supposed to do to get rewards through playing the game every single day to build my team? What am I supposed to do? Play Division Rivals at that skill rating? Because when you're 1770, you're playing people that are 1900, 2000. 100%, bro, okay? Even you could potentially be playing lower, but like I said, that general, that general area, right? What am I supposed to do? Draft as a regular person is the only thing I could do. As a content creator, fuck it. Now, the rest of the year, I'll play drafts all day. I don't care if I lose. I'm just going to play drafts all the time. But let me fucking tell you something, okay? 
The fact that EA gets away with this as a video game is an absolute joke. It's a joke, man. It's an absolute joke. And for me, as a football lover and as a video game enthusiast, okay, this pisses me off. Because when I play Call of Duty, every single time I finish the game, I don't even want the games to finish. I, if the game can just last all day, I would, I would let it last all day. But the way that, the, that, that these people in Call of Duty set up their game as a video game, if I didn't create content on FIFA, this game would never get touched by me. Two or three years ago, it would have been done for me. Because not seeing this progression and then adding and then adding these stupid fucking game modes in Mystery Ball and and oh be in the box and hold on to possession and score. A glorified single match? Do you guys know how good the FIFA community should have it right now. People don't even give a fuck about gameplay. People who watch FIFA don't give two shits about watching gameplay. I see people with two top 100 rewards who get 80 views. We are a fucking joke, bro. If that happened in Fortnite, easily you get like... I expect 500 views. From someone who no one knows to get two top 100s on different account, on different accounts, 500 views. No one gives a shit. What, what is a person, a viewer, going to do when they go into a FIFA stream? What's the only thing they're going to do? They're only going to give a shit about the menu content. And that's it. Why would they go to your stream to watch gameplay? When one, the gameplay is shit. And two, your gameplay content is almost non-existent it's non-existent who gives a shit about getting better at a game when your gameplay content is fucking non-existent i just needed to rant to you guys that that's my thought i'm gonna keep getting my thoughts because honestly i don't even like thinking about it i don't like thinking about it because I guarantee you right now, we're going to deal with this for the rest of the year. Nothing's going to change. We're not going to have divisions added to the game. Nothing is going to change, okay? But it is a fucking catastrophe, okay? It is a catastrophe that our game mode is never touched. And they keep shit from fucking years ago and keep recycling it, okay? You guys remember what happened when Foot Draft was first added to the game? Oh my god, blessing. It was a blessing because it was gameplay content. No one gives a shit about it because you did nothing to the game mode for the years to go after that. I just, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Like, I, I'm just pissed off just thinking about it, bro. Being a content creator and playing the game consistently, the only, people care more about drafts and division rivals, bro, because every, the whole entire balance of the game sucks, bro. If you're a regular person, I don't know why you play FIFA. That's all I want to say. There, there's, there, you cannot convince me other than the fact that you like football. But even if you like football, it's not good enough, okay? I don't know why you play the game. It makes no sense to me. It makes no sense. This game would never get touched by me again if I didn't create content on it. It is a fucking catastrophe how we get this game every single year. It's lazy and incompetent on a whole other level. Okay? Peace out, dudes.